Hi there, everybody. My name is Mike LaPlante, and I'm the Average Wine Enthusiast. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a subject that I would have liked to have incorporated in the last show that I did, which is the show that uh, we talked about corks on. Closures, screw tops, corks, most importantly, though. Uh, but the show just got on a, a little longer than I would like. I would like these shows to be somewhere between uh, 15 and 20 minutes, no more than 20 minutes. And if it gets longer than that, uh, I think it's uh, too big of a, a bite to chew off. And I'd like to get the shows a little shorter if I can. Uh, that's what folks have been telling me that they wish they uh, would, that I could do when I'm shooting the show. So, like I said, what I want to talk about today is a product that uh, is very directly related to corks. Um, so what do we do if we have a bottle of wine that we don't finish? I know a lot of you folks out there would be saying, what do you mean you can't finish a whole bottle of wine? Well, there are um, situations or even better yet, motivations for not finishing a bottle of wine. So if you start each uh, time that you drink wine with a, uh, a portion of wine in your bottle, that means you're drinking the wine that you opened up the day before, or maybe even the day before that. And the reason it's in there is because you thought it was really good. It was exceptional. It, uh, it was something that you hadn't drank in a while. It was that good. So you saved it basically so you could enjoy it at a later date. Because you never know the new bottle of wine you open, maybe nothing like that. It's that elusive awesomeness that you tasted that one time that we're always chasing. Um, something like an addict, a wine addict. There's a name for a show right there, the wine addict. Um, then you might as well just call it the alcoholic. I'm not sure. Um, so you're, if you're doing it right, you are the first wine that you drink on any given day might be a bottle of wine that you opened the day before or the day before that because it was really good. That means you are opening the bottle, a new bottle, at the same time that you are reopening this bottle here and you're decanting it or maybe even hours before that you're decanting it and that you're letting that one breathe while you're enjoying this older bottle of wine. So what happens if you open a bottle of wine and you don't finish it and you don't stick the cork back on it. Well, you wake up in the morning and you realize the error of your ways and you make sure that you stick a cork in it and you should be drinking that wine later on that night. Uh, if you waited another day, probably it won't be as good as you remembered it, that's for sure. Um, but you should uh, close it up right away the next day. Uh, what you should do is close it up the night before, before you go to bed. Uh, but you know, things happen and uh, you know, sometimes you forget to do that. I'll never forget uh, a story. I was uh, with a friend of mine in Northern California and we had bought a bunch of wine, had a great day and we opened up a bottle relatively late at night. And I remember waking up the next morning and she told me, oh, we didn't put a cork on the bottle before we went to bed. And I said, oh, that's no good. And sh she took that as the wine is no good anymore. And then she dumped it down the sink. I was like, oh, no, that's not what you want to be doing. Uh, that wine would have been fine to be drinking later on that day. Oh, well, you live and learn. Uh, so if you drink the wine uh, within a, you know, a few hours uh, after you reopen it, it should be just as good as you remember it. Uh, no harm, no foul, basically. But what if you open a bottle of wine and you stick a cork in it when it's done? How long will that wine be good for? Well, depending on what kind of wine it is, that's going to be a determination for sure. Um, if it's a full-bodied wine, it should be good for the better part of a week, for sure. Uh, because it's got all that body in there, those tannins in there should, you know, it, it would take a lot of air for that to dissipate. Uh, over a period of time. Uh, something a little lighter bodied uh, may not last that long, maybe four days with a cork in it after you opened it. But for the most part, a better part of a week should do. So the reason I'm coming to you today is because uh, we can actually extend that period of time 
uh, if it's necessary. Also, it's just good to, you know, do it up if there is a better way. This is, I find, a better way to close your wine. And the product that I'm talking about is called Vacuvin. And basically what it is, is these little rubber stoppers that are basically in two parts. Uh, there's a top and a, uh, and the part that you put into your um, bottle. And it's got holes in rubber and plastic and stuff. And that's the stopper part of it. You wash these up uh, when you're done using them. And then there's this unit here, which basically sucks the air out of the bottle. So what, what does that do? So you stick this into the bottle and then you pull all the air out of it. Well, that makes it so that there's no air at all touching the wine. So when you open a bottle of wine and you put a cork in it to stay there for overnight or a, a day or two or whatever, uh, there is wine, there is wine, there's air that is sitting on top of that wine in the bottle. Also, there's probably additional air in there as well getting in because because there's air in there so there's a, a a certain amount of pressure on the cork as well that was not usually put in all the way you would never stick a cork all the way back in the bottle because then you're just, that's just a pain in the butt to get back out again the next day so you usually put it in there and just wedge it in there so that you know it's going to be easy enough to pull out but yeah there's there's air there and depending on how much wine you're leaving in your bottle that will determine how much air is above that wine and that air that is in there is actually degrading the uh, wine that's in there to some degree. It's pulling out um, aromas and, uh, in, and in doing so also takes away some of the flavor as well. If you can eliminate that by eliminating the air that's sitting on top of that wine overnight or for two or three or four days, you uh, eliminate the process of the wine uh, degrading itself over time. So that's what the vacuum does. So uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how that uh, works right now. All right, you take your stopper and uh, you put a little bit of water on it. And what that does is helps with the seal of the stopper in the bottle. Also helps get the stopper into the bottle. Uh, so you put the stopper in the bottle and then you take your plunger and put it on top and apply minimal amounts of pressure on it and start plunging and basically sucking the air out of the bottle until you hear an audible click. There's the click and you're all sealed up. Now to get the stopper out of the bottle in a couple days, you push aside the little tissue until you let all the air out of there and bam, ready to drink. So there you have it. That's the vacuum and uh, I would highly recommend uh, you having some of these in your house, uh, especially if you or having a wine party, you're opening a bunch of bottles and you know that you might have to close some up and you want to keep them for as long as possible. Uh, I, I would assume that putting these on your um, bottles of wine will keep them substantially longer than you they would stay good uh, if you were just sticking a cork on top of there. Uh, I bought uh, this unit here and two of these on Amazon for $17 and I think it was a really good investment uh, they have all different kinds of packages you can get this in stainless steel and you can get a six pack of these and they sell these separately too in case you lose them so uh, there's different ways you can purchase these as well so that's Vacuvin um, I'll put a, a link in the description down below and uh, I would highly recommend you get yourself a Vacuvin so I guess that's going to do it for this little segment, this little uh, addendum to the cork show. Uh, until next time, folks, my name is Mike LaPlante, and I'm the Average Wine Enthusiast. Salut!